Hey guys, for Man Party this week, we are learning how to ride motorcycles. Yeah, we were invited to the Rider's Edge classes that Harley Davidson offers, and by the end of this, hopefully, we're all gonna be peeling out of here on some hogs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but first, we have to learn how to ride motorcycles safely and responsibly. Yeah. 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 So get your helmets on and, and come ride with us. What's up, how you doing, guys? Thanks, Amanda. Hey. Oh, you're gonna be in the video! Oh, your mom's in the video! Aww. Aww. Oh, the whole family's in the video! Mom, you got in the video! Wait, 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 wait. She, was, she was so disgusted, she was like, ugh. We all have minor motorcycle experience, except for Jake, he's got an extremely large amount of motorcycle experience. That's right, nerds. But, just, but nothing, just nothing is the scale of a Harley, nothing is American, nothing is cool, and nothing is badass. All right, guys, so my name is Luis. Uh, everyone calls me Tico, that's my nickname, so please feel free. Um, welcome to the Rider's Edge Academy here at Glendale Harley Davidson. And this is night number one. We're gonna do some schoolwork tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we're gonna do some more schoolwork, some classwork. Uh, we're gonna go over some basic fundamentals and some safety strategies on riding bikes. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna teach you guys how to properly and safely ride those bikes and have a blast. Sweet. All awesome. right, sound good? Sounds good. Absolutely. Let's do it. Each exercise builds on new skills, knowledge, and confidence acquired in previous exercises. If you are unable to consistently achieve exercise objectives, the instructor will counsel you out of the course. <laughs> <laughs> That's just right. so gentle. Right. Right. You don't just kick you out, you talk you into jumping off. <laughs> <laughs> the decision of the instructor is final with respect to whether or not you've passed or failed the test, so be nice. This little guy, I'm going to hand out, we call this our road book. For your eyes only, I'm going to be asking you over all five days to kind of, you know, jot some first um, thought. I don't look as badass as this guy. <laughs> Page 34, question one. What are three goals that you have made for yourself while in this class? All right, jot something down, please. A couple, one, two, as many as you want. All right, next up is the ride and the risk. Risk. <laughs> in just about everything you do. I believe in wearing a helmet and gloves and a jacket and I wear the pants and stuff like that. No way. That's the more stuff. <laughs> so these two teams, the table teams, I want you guys to pick a fun name for yourselves. Hot dudes. Hot dudes. Hot dudes. Hot dudes. Um, uh, the, 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 the hot spot. The, you only get one name and it's not that. All right, we're, no, no, we're hot spot. Team Hotspot. Hotspot. <laughs> okay, Hotspot. Let's do, let's do Boys Club. <laughs> with, a Z, boys with a Z. Club. With a Z. With a Z. <laughs> it's on. Pro bits. <laughs> All right. So, my dream bike is a dual sport for city and trails that hovers. <laughs> and that's, that's the dream part. And I'm a big fan of Kaneda's bike from Akira. So, dream bike. So you're going for the sport. So you're going for a cartoon. <laughs> you want the brake light to literally leave a red line behind you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. There's a bunch of grown men talking about the dream bikes. This is nice. Yeah. The boys club here is proud to present. <laughs> the boys club dream bike. Your good jumping ability, slash range, yep. slash maximum school buses, what's otherwise known as good suspension. <laughs> yeah. Maximum sex appeal. Maximum sex appeal means the chrome bits all over. Good to average fuel efficiency. <laughs> With functional brakes. Comfortable passenger seating. Too close for dudes, awesome for girls. Like that's the kind of like that's distance. The range you're looking for. Sturdy kickstand. <laughs> Don't want to be dropping yeah. the bike. It should be no. jaw dropping acceleration. <laughs> and finally, loud engine, louder sound system, maximum bass. Dude, you have nice hands right now. Guys, look, we got smoked in that category. <laughs> <laughs> please tell me, please tell me we do more with these post its. Because we're going to constantly try and outdo each other for every single <laughs> thing now. <laughs> I'm gonna give each group 
a scenario. I want you guys in your group to read that scenario amongst yourselves and then I want you on these giant post-its to creatively list the factors that led to that crash. A group of four riders was traveling on the two-lane country road. Well, why is he taking his Why is he taking his motorcycle to get a part for his motorcycle? I mean, he should take another vehicle that has all the parts <laughs> for planning. Yeah. Riding too risky. close. <laughs> risky riders. Bike. Idiotic car driver. We're gonna be counseled out of this. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's just. All right. Ready. A rider. <laughs> was heading towards a local motorcycle shop to get a part for the motorcycle. Mm. His motorcycle is missing a part. Mm. Or point we'll, we'll foreshadow it. Yeah, Freddie acted out well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drop is in the middle of town, so he's on the outside of town trying to get there. Yep. Which was just past an intersection on the left. The rider scanned for a parking place near the front of the door. A motorist on the side road, having already stopped at the stop sign at the intersection, pulled out. The crash resulted in a broken leg for the rider. So I present Hell on the Highway, a scenario for story. Number one, poor planning. What's he doing riding a motorcycle without all the parts in it? Use <laughs> yeah. a fully functional vehicle. How? Bad strategy application here. This is a diagram of what we believe, based on the facts of the case, the intersection looked like. You'll notice that to have a parking space for a vehicle, he's missing the fact that there's a car over there. Classic PSTV, party spot television. He broke his leg. Which means that he was in front of the car and the car hit him. It's more likely a scenario because if he was hitting the car, he would just go up and over. Because that means idiotic car driver. The fact that he's going into town to purchase a part for a motorcycle means he's probably not known about Amazon. <laughs> means he's probably not on the internet. Lack of broadband internet. Snap. <laughs> we present scenario number scenario three. Scenario number three. So check this out. So a group of four riders. Wait, wait. Kind of like Jake and me and Nico and, and one other really cool person, pulling the not camera. anyone over there. <laughs> so, so let's say we're driving together down a road. Yeah, and oh. they were choosing a staggered yeah, formation, yeah. as you can see here. Well, no, that's a don't, that's a, this is a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so four riders driving within the speed limit in in a staggered formation, but they were bunched up a little too close together. The first rider. Freaking see some gravel in the road and slides all over it. So, anyways, the rider went down, drops a bike. The second rider in the group is like, oh shit. And then he basically <laughs> freaking turns off and had to go off the road into a ditch on the right side of the road to avoid hitting the guy who fell. Thankfully, neither uh, rider was hurt badly, but the clutch levers. Uh, on both bikes were actually broken. It's just like, and they're like, oh. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> so what was the cause of the crash? Some truck driver spilled his crap all over the place. Right. That's what caused the accident. Right. Without that, they would have been fine. They would have been driving still. Hold on, that brings me to point two, the risky riders. So anyways, reason number three for what caused this. Um, the, the clutch levers didn't cause it, but they they all popped off, and they should <laughs> they should have check tightened them up a little bit. Check your bike before you ride. Yeah, check yeah. your bike, or else you're gonna be in the or else you're gonna be in the ditch. You're gonna be in the ditch. Like holding your side, looking for your yeah. bike parts in the grass. I want you guys to to perform your magic on these sheets. Sweet. Give me all the pros and cons, benefits of this gear. Why? Why not? Etc. So, pros and cons. Uh, pros and cons of this beast. Pros and cons, benefits. No one, no Guys, I think we finally won our poster presentation. Oh, oh you have to see the present. The presentation hasn't happened yet, Nico. <laughs> ours is way better. Hold on, ours is cool. Yeah, nice title. <laughs> and but like, what is it? A ghost? Das Boot. Some das freaking boot. ghost. You, you finally. Right, so right. check this out. We got a boot here. Check this out. <laughs> see these laces here? Actually, uh, these are vanity laces. There's actually a, a secret zipper on the side here. So you can put them on in a pinch. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, here's another pro. Here's another pro for you. Uh, see this? This is the tag. This means it's new. This means it's a new boot, not some old piece of junk that's gonna fall apart when you're freaking biking. Check this out. Pro uh, here's a pro. Freaking thick leather. It's really thick. You got some sick grips down here. Con heavy or pro heavy, depending on if you think it's good or bad. All right. Pro skull con. Skull. So if you're like, if, if you're, <laughs> you're in the skulls. Yeah, Good. If you're, in the skulls. If you're not in the skulls. Yeah. That's a problem. Good. Here's not Jackie Jamboree. Right, Let me draw start. your attention to the pros here. It is dual layered for maximum warmth and comfortability. 
Super protective, as you can note, by all the various padding. Like extra on. additional pads. Elbow like extras, that. good for elbowing people, also falling off your bike. <laughs> and also landing on Generally the Generally stylish. We've all seen Terminator 2. We know exactly how to do it. Black, hot, thick. Nice. Also, check out all the room for accessories while you're riding. Just demonstrate some of the places you can hide some accessories. <laughs> this ends up being a con. There are so many pockets that you may lose accessories in your pockets <laughs> for up to a year. <laughs> and that is the Jack and Jam. All right, all right. Uh, majority of communication out there, guys, it's going to be hand signals. So keep your ears open. Uh, keep your. Uh, keep, <laughs> 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 keep, keep, your, keep your ears open because there may be verbal communication as well. Nice. Yeah. I'd also I'd also like to add uh, uh, an 11th rule to the range safety rules, which is failure to comply with these rules may result in uh, Tico counseling you out of this course. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he will be counseled out. He will be counseled out. <laughs>